For at TV, the world is thinking. So in our first study, we convinced some people that they got sick eating dill pickles and other people that they got sick eating hard-boiled eggs. Uh, how do we do that? How do we plant this false memory? I'm going to give you an example of the false feedback technique that I alluded to earlier. We gather a whole lot of data during the first session from our subjects. We get information about their childhood, their experiences with food, their likes and dislikes, their personality. They come back to the lab a week later, and that's when we give them the manipulation. We fed all your data into our really smart computer program that revealed that certain things are probably true of you and happened to you as a child. The profile looks like it's very individualized. Here's one for Johnny Jones. The name of the subject is at the top. The really smart computer tells them that these things almost certainly happened to them as a child. The critical item in the third position, you felt sick after eating a hard-boiled egg italicized for you, but not our subjects, of course. It's embedded in a list of things we think are true of lots of kids, like you dislike spinach, and you, uh, eating birthday cake made you happy. And now we get people to dwell on these experiences and try to remember them. Uh, and the final thing we do is we have people imagine they're at an afternoon barbecue. They've gone for a swim. There are 100 people there. They're hungry, they go over to the table, there's lots and lots of food choices available to them. How likely are you to eat each of these different foods? Embedded in the list are the critical items. It's a much longer list than I'm showing you here. Dill pickle spears and salted hard-boiled eggs. Here's what happened. Here's how much people want to eat the dill pickle spears and the hard-boiled eggs if they haven't been exposed to any feedback, any false information at all. They've got a, more of a preference for the hard-boiled eggs and the dill pickles, but you see how much on an uh, eight-point scale they want to eat these foods. Here's how much they want to eat the foods if they were exposed to the misinformation, the false feedback, but they didn't buy into it. They didn't develop a false memory. And here's how much they want to eat those foods if they were exposed to the manipulation and they fell for it. They don't want to eat those foods as much. And this is one of the great moments, actually, in the life of a scientist, where your graduate students bringing in the graphs and the Excel spreadsheets, and I looked at these data and I thought, wow, they're avoiding, they tell us they don't want to eat these foods. Well, I wonder if this would work for a fattening food. We could be on the brink of a new dieting technique. I mean. <laughs> You know, Atkins, step aside. So after we had shown that you could plant a false memory, that you got sick as a child eating these foods, and that people would tell us they didn't want to eat the foods as much, we did then try to do this with a fattening food. And the food we used was strawberry ice cream. The study was the same. We gathered information from our subjects, the same design. A week later, we brought them back to the lab. We fed all your data into our really smart computer program that revealed these things happened to you. The critical item was you fell ill after eating strawberry ice cream. We have people dwell on the getting sick aspects of the experience. They have to tell us uh, what they remember about the event or to try to imagine the event, if, uh, what, how it might have happened if they can't remember and tell us who they were with and where it would have been and how they would have felt. And then we ask people what they want to eat at a party and here's how much people want to eat strawberry ice cream if they haven't been exposed to any feedback at all. Here's how much they want to eat it if they were exposed to our manipulation and they did not fall for it. And here's how much they want to eat the strawberry ice cream if they were exposed to, to the information, they fell for it, they don't want to eat it as much.